What's happening guys, it's about Nag Paul for Eric Android In and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Micromax Canvas Night. Now this is a revision to the Canvas Turbo and it also is the first phone to bring the MediaTek Octa-Core chipset into the market, uh, well properly in fact. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Now the box is fairly simplistic and it follows along the lines of the previous Micromax Canvas devices. Now the model number is the A350. And the price on the box is a funnily high enough 26,995. But actually, you can get this device for around 19,900 rupees. And even less if you run around here or there. And if you know somebody who can get you a discount. But let's not waste any more time on that. And let's quickly get rid of the top panel, which is basically already off. And we have the device inside the box, the first thing. And there is also a back panel cover. So it is a snap-on sort of plastic cover. It has a matte finish. We'll show you that in just a minute. Going further in, we have the quick start guide, the warranty card, a wall charger, which is reminiscent of uh, Micromax design in the past. So very simplistic, small, nice looking wall charger with a USB port on one side. You also get a USB to micro USB cable. Again, these are flat tangle free cables, which is fantastic. You also get in-ear earphones, again, flat tangle-free cables on these. These earphones are also the same earphones that we saw on the Canvas Turbo. So overall, good earphone quality, not too bad. And the onboard microphone or the inline microphone is also pretty good. You also get additional ear tips. You also get a SIM removal tool, which is shaped as the Micromax logo. Really strange design if you ask us, but it is in the box, so that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the device itself. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the new Micromax Canvas Knight. It's a fairly thin looking product and actually looks like uh, it is a hybrid of an iPhone 4S. And that is because we have a completely glass front over here and we have a completely glass back over here as well. So uh, that is the A350. If we talk about specifications on the front, we have a five inch full HD display. Uh, which does have a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels and uh, you do have an 8 megapixel front camera which is also pretty impressive you have the earpiece over here and you have three touch capacitive buttons at the bottom of the device if you take a look at the right side you have the power button the volume up and down button sim card slot which is the first sim card slot if you go over to the top you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack over to the left you have the secondary sim card slot and at the bottom you have the speakerphone, microphone and the micro USB charging data syncing port. On the back, like I said earlier, a full glass uh, sort of back. Uh, you have a 16 megapixel camera which is over here and you have the LED flash. You have the Micromax logo in the center, very subtle, almost Apple-like in the center over here and an all glass back with an IMEI sticker that you can get rid of. So that's the Canvas Knight. Uh, let's quickly go ahead and power it on. It's already sort of powered on and it's on the setup page. So let's go ahead and let it run through this. So this is the main screen of the Canvas Knight over here. I can scroll left or right. Uh, so right now I have five home screens. I can also, I think, or I can't pinch out. So they've removed that feature. This is your notification panel and I can jump into my quick toggles from here as well. I'm gonna jump into settings real quick, go into about device and you'll be able to see that it's running Android 4.2.2, which is actually a shame because I would like to see Android KitKat on these devices now. Uh, go into the dialer, small little design change over here. So you'll see some buttons, a very nicely cleanly put dialer over here. Uh, go into contacts and Micromax care number is already loaded for you and convenience. I'm going to jump into messaging real quick, show you what the keyboard and the messaging interface looks like. So not a lot of customizations done here. You can do attachments as well as smileys which are preloaded onto the device. So emoticons and uh, you have a pretty standard looking keyboard, a little bit of customization on there as well. Going to landscape, you get a full white keyboard. Again, uh, looks pretty good, uh, should be easy to use. I'm going to really go pop out and uh, jump into the browser and I'm going to open up our website. So there you go, so it's loaded up the full website and uh, scrolling seems to be slightly laggy despite all the octa-core goodness and everything. So talking about the octa-core goodness, let's talk about what all is inside this device. Okay, so uh, the device has a octa-core MediaTek 6592T processor which is the first full octa-core chipset to be made available into the market. Uh, the MediaTek MT6592T. It is a 2 GHz octa-core processor. On the inside you have 2 GB of RAM and 32 GB of storage 
out of which about 25 gigabyte is available uh, for storage and about 1.5 gigabyte is available for applications the rest of it is taken by all the micromax stuff as well as the preloaded applications as well as android so hopefully you can get rid of some of these applications like where's my ferry and where's my water and some apps and games that you probably won't be using but you do have some of these preloaded onto the device in the usual micromax uh, method you get micromax live micromax vault a couple of micromax applications preloaded you also have m security preloaded uh, a couple of preloaded applications include uh, the opera mini browser uh, the get it uh, application thinksoft office application real steel game spool which is a movie streaming uh, service you also have true caller which is preloaded and a couple of other applications including google applications like gmail youtube etc so all of that is really cool you can hopefully get rid of all of that speaker phone is really loud on this guy and i'm going to quickly load up a video from our youtube channel to show you what the screen looks like and what the audio quality is like Now viewing angles on this display are pretty good and pretty impressive actually. Uh, brightness on the screen is also great, and the audio quality from the speaker, which is at the bottom over here, is also pretty fantastic. The overall build quality of the product is really impressive from Micromax uh, standpoint. Uh, you get an all steel sort of bezel, so you get a complete uh, solid frame on the device. Uh, you do have a glass back as well as a glass front. Uh, whether it's Gorilla Glass or not is currently unknown. So that'll be something you might have to be wary of and you might need to get a screen protector for the front as well as the back. What they do include in the box is this uh, sort of plastic frame for the back. It is a snap-on case but it sort of removes the whole look of the device to get a matte finish. I'm also noticing a bit of heat up uh, over here near the earpiece uh, while I've just started to use this device. So we'll get more info into that when we get into the final review. Overall the product seems nicely built, it's uh, sort of well balanced so it's not heavy on either side. It is slightly on the heavier side, it feels slightly heavy in the hand, but that's possibly because of the steel frame and the nicer use of built quality materials. But overall, uh, the device seems like a promising product from the company and we'll be back with the full review really soon guys, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or queries or something that you need us to uh, review in our final review, do leave that in the comment section below. And uh, we'll be back with more videos for the Canvas Night, so do hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button if you want to know more. Bye again, Networks. This is Bhimbhar Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching.